Okay, this question is from Fat Neek Apocalypse. And the question is, how do I play like Javi, Musiala, or Musiala and Pedri, even though they're so young, right? How, how do I start to train like them? And what, basically, why are they world class despite being so young and so small? Well, uh, the answer is luck, right? The, the, it's luck that they were born, right? I'm, assu I'm guessing Spain. I think it's Spain we're talking about, but it's, you know, they probably were born to a place where they were encouraged to play and they're playing with a whole bunch of kids all the time. And these are just the best kids. And they just fell into, right, selected to be on the best teams because they played a lot, right? They probably had a ball at their feet all day for the first five to 10 years of their life, right? Let's say they're younger than 20 years old, right? That's all they're doing, getting good touches and just playing. And they're just the most gifted of the lot. So how do you play like them, right? That's the question. How do I play? How do I play like these, these characters? Well, you could go, you could, um, you could go to Spain, right? You could start to, you could literally book depending on your money situation, you could go volunteer or you could go maybe work under the table in Spain or you could become a la if you're a language, you could work on, you know, there are so many jobs that you can do, especially these days where y y your skill or if you want to move to Spain, you just move to Spain, right? You go and then you figure out how do I move there and how do I spend more time there? It could be volunteering for a year, be volunteering for a semester you could do a work study right you could you could just learn from any expert in any field that you want to go in it could be anything you want to do just go do it and then go do it in Spain so that you could start to play with Spanish people or go to Argentina right you go you go anywhere where there's a love of soccer culture and then you just go play and you go learn from them because that's where you'll have the most fun you'll get an awesome adventure of traveling and you know there's language barrier you have to overcome so that's that would be the fastest way to play like them go to where they're from and 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 play with the people who they they play with right that's the fastest way the stuff that you could do at home right if you don't already have a juggling practice so from this day forward fat neek apocalypse i want to challenge you to spend one minute a day juggling and I look towards, if you search, if you go on Instagram and you search underscore Thai, right, T-Y dot fitness underscore, this is who I look up to for juggling, right? This has helped, inspired me to spend more time uh, juggling. And, right, this guy Tyler, he's, he's, I think, I'm not sure, but my guess is that his progression started with just right. Right, if you see it, you see it on his page. He goes, right, left, right, left, right, left. So once you start master, once you master this this sequence, and then I want you to start getting to a relaxed state, a very zen state. So just right, left, right, left. But I want you to get into your breathing, right? Right. So. Get into your breathing and then start to do it with different size balls. So now we have a small a size one ball. And I want what this what this is gonna start to do when you use different size balls, it's gonna sharpen your touch, it's gonna make you more dangerous on the field, and it's also gonna become therapeutic, right? Because if you can be zenned out when you're here, then right when you get onto the field, if you're relaxed when, while you're training, that's gonna transfer to making good decisions on the field, getting your head up when you have great ball control. And then I wanna to start to challenge you to use tennis balls, right?
right? So eventually, you'll be able to get tennis balls no problem. Just spend a few, a few minutes a day and get a whole bunch, put them in your arms, and that's gonna make it challenging because you're gonna have to juggle and be carrying stuff. And as you do it every day, right, um, read the book. I want you to read the book Atomic Habits, talking about how you master some simple, some simple ideas or the idea of simple practice every day, being consistent. And in one year, two years, you won't even recognize yourself as a soccer player. So um, that's a great book to read, Atomic Habits. That's James Clear. Um, what else? If you search Cover Skills Training, it's an app, and you master fundamentals of ball skills, and you drill them down a few minutes every day, when you get on the field, you'll be untouchable. Untouchable. If you master the fundamentals, work your way up, and master the entire progression a few minutes a day, juggling, ball skills progressions, and then spend some time about how to strengthen your body, make your body more resilient. Um, you'll be untouchable. You'll be untouchable. And also learning from the best, you want to play with the best players around you and seek out, seek out wise, old wise soccer players in your area and just train with better players, right? Always be training to be, to be around. You never want to be the best player on your team. And if you are, you got to find a different team, right? So, um, try some of those things and, uh, and um, reach out with any questions. All right, thanks for your time.